In this quick how-to process video, I will be showing you how to update a Vadio product using the Vadio Loader. On a quick note, the Vadio Loader is a Microsoft file only and cannot be used as a Mac. In this example, we will be updating a Universal CCU. What you will need is the Universal CCU or product you will be updating, the product's power supply, a Cat5, a USB serial adapter, an RJ45 to DB9 connector, a tweaker, and your PC. Now that you have everything you need, let's connect. The first thing we'll start with is plugging in the power. Next, we're going to connect our Cat5 into the RS-232 in on the back of the CCU. The other end of the Cat5, we're going to connect into the RJ45 adapter. The other end of the RJ45 adapter is the DB9 connected into the USB serial adapter. And the other end of that is the USB connection into the PC. Now for the updating process, the PC you are working on will have to be connected to the network. The first thing we'll do is open up a browser. Once the browser is open, type in the Vadio website, www.vadio.com. Once you get to the website, go into Tech Center, then to Updates. We will update the Vadio loader first. This will now download into my desktop down below here. Next is to select the file you want to update. Keeping in mind that hex file is a right click to save link as or save target as. We will save this file to the desktop. We can now close the browser and open up the Vadio loader on the desktop. Once we are in the Vadio loader, we will go into file and select our COM port, set up COM port 17, which in our case is the COM port that's selected for the USB connection connect the product type and select control, camera, or audio. In this example with the CCU, we will select control. We will now select the product we will updating. We will be going down to Quick Connect CCU 2 for our product. We will go into the help menu and connect onto instructions. We will put that aside for right now and go back to the loader. Select load file, select the updated version that you would like and open that. And now we will go back to the instruction page. Steps one and two have already been completed. We are connected and we have communication. Now we are going to depress and hold the recess button with a tweaker for about three to five seconds and then inserting the power again. We are now in bootload mode. From here, go back to the Vadio loader and press start. Once the upload is finished, the Vadio loader will say load successful. You are now fully updated. If you need any more help and any problems after this video, please contact our tech support team.